Coding Made Easy. So what's up everybody, this is Peter aka Coding Made Easy coming to you with your second Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to be creating a hello, what is called a hello world program. And for you new programmers, what a hello world program is, it is the most basic program you can do. Oh, it doesn't matter which programming language it is. And basically, all we're going to be doing is just writing um, some some simple text, and that is going to be it. But you guys are going to be at least getting something out there, and you're going to be learning something for the first time today. So let's have some fun. So let's go to File, and we're going to do New Project, and New Java Project. And remember how I stated that the workspace can have multiple projects? Well, we're only going to be ha using one project, so we're just going to uh, call this YouTube project. And uh, just look at the bottom. Whoa, did not want to do that. And we're just going to click finish. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing that. But we're just going to click finish. We're going to expand this, and we have we see the JRE system library. We don't really care about that right now, and we have the source. And we're going to say, we're going to right click, we're going to go to new, and we're going to say class. Now, um, we're not going to be learning about classes until like the 20th or maybe 30th tutorial or somewhere around there. Um, but Or maybe even earlier. But uh, Java is an object-oriented language and um, we have to utilize classes for everything in Java. Uh, Java without a class is not Java. Um, sort of like C-sharp. Like C-sharp without a class is not C-sharp. And so we need to create a, a class, and we we'll just call this class. Um, we we'll just call it. We'll call it YouTube class, cause it's for YouTube. We'll call it the YouTube class, and as you can see, it automatically generates a class for us right there. So we don't really know or really care about what a class is. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put public static void main. Now make sure main is in lower case letters. Java is a case sensitive language, meaning that the letters, um, whether it's uppercase or lowercase, does matter in this language. Some programming languages are not case sensitive, are not can, uh, sorry, are not case sensitive, but uh, Java is. So we're gonna put string, the brackets and args, and for those of you who are just refreshing, uh, refreshing on. Java and are used to doing the alternate way args and then this after doesn't really matter which one or doesn't really matter at this moment which one you use and we are just going to be putting the other braces here and we're going to make say system dot and as you can see the cool thing about an IDE is that whenever you use different methods or whatever different things and I know you don't know what a method is when you use a bunch of different things, it kind of helps you out. Um, Java has a lot of different built-in stuff. They, you can't expect anybody to memorize it. Nobody memorizes every single keyword that Java has. And so that is the purpose of the IDE to kind of help you out as well. It's kind of like a special text editor for Java. And so what we're going to look for is the out keyword. So you can either double click it or, or type it out or click tab. And we're looking for print line, print LN. And uh, so I'm just going to double click that one. And what we're going to put in there is we're going to put the quotation marks. And we're just going to type in hello world. Now before I even explain everything that was done, what I'm going to do is we're going to click the run button. And um, it's, it might ask you to save it or something, and you will say, yep, you want to save it. And once you're done with it, you're going to go down, and as you can see at the bottom, it says, hello world. So that's what our program ran. It ran this string, hello world. Now, if you're getting an error such as um, like a problem with main or something, make sure that main has a lowercase m, not an uppercase. If I run this with the uppercase m, and I tried to run this program, it will say OK and allow access. And if we look down here, say main method not found in class YouTube class, please define the main method as so and so. 
So anyways, I'm going to change this back and bring this back up so you guys can see. And I'm going to change back to lowercase and explain what's going on. So it's, a, it's kind of hard to teach Java sometimes because a lot of people try to teach classes off the bat. Some people try not to. I'm not going I'm going to avoid teaching classes off the bat because classes are very deep and I'd rather go into that once you have more extensive knowledge on Java. But uh, basically everything needs to be in a class and we'll just leave it at, at that. Uh, I will explain more of that later. The static keyword, I will have to explain that later. And we have void and we have main and we have string args and a bunch of different stuff we don't know about. And uh, basically what you need to know is that Java has these things called methods. And basically what a method is, is kind of a procedure to do different things. So it says, okay, um, within within these curly braces, remember what I stated before, how I liked my curly braces like this. Well, basically, any this is a method, and anything within this, the these curly braces are going to be executed in the order that I specify it to. So, for example, I want to make another system out dot print line, and I put this is cool, and I end up with a semicolon, and I run this. It's going to say hello world, then it's going to say this is cool. So it runs it in a certain order, a certain procedure, uh, what we specified as. And um, that's how the methods work. Now the main method is a special method. It is um, a lot of lang some languages like uh, C++ will have a main, so same with C sharp. And the main method is a, is a special method that it needs everything runs through the main method. It needs to know where to start running from. And it says, okay, find the main method. And once you find the main method, you'll start executing the code from the main method. And this is where you start reading code from. That is why we need a main program in every single, every, a main method in every single program that we create. Now the system.out.print line. The print line can have a bunch of different methods. The print line can be printing to to different things. It can be printing to a text file. It can be printed to whatever. How do we know what we're printing to? So we use a system dot out dot print line, which lets us know that we're printing to the system. And we'll learn what these dots mean and so on and so on and so forth in the future. Now in the parentheses we put quotations and hello world. And this hello world is a string, like we stated here, which is a data type, which we'll be learning about. We'll be learning about data types in the next tutorial. And basically, this says, okay, we want to write this text to uh, the to the system, and it does so. Now, the reason why we have a semicolon after is that it lets Java know when we're when we're at the end of a command. Right, I put these two commands uh, under each other to make the code clean, but I, if I wanted to, I could put these two commands on the same line. This semicolon makes it known that, okay, this is the end of this command, and now we're ready to start a new command, whether it's on the same line, whether it's on a new line, whether it's 100 or something lines down, it will ex this means that this is done, and we're gonna search for a brand new command. That's what the semicolon signifies. So anyways, before I end this tutorial, to sum it up, the class, don't worry about that too much. Just note that we need a class in every single Java program, and we need to have this main method in every single program or it will not work. The system.outprint line allows us to print some text to the system, and this is the text that we get at the bottom. And we have to end most commands in Java with the semicolon at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, the next tutorial will be coming out within the next three hours. So bye for now.